Welcome to the futurist public intellectual. Now that most of us in America have spent a few days adjusting our circadian rhythms and innumerable analog clocks to daylight saving time, or DST, let's talk about both its history and its future. But before we do, let's correct a common misspeaking of the word. The official term is daylight saving time, not daylight savings time with an S. This makes sense since the point of DST is to save the daylight of the summer and use it during the winter months. Due to the advent of railroads, time zones were created by the Standard Time Act of 1918. The Uniform Time Act of 1966 standardized the time zones and the implementation of DST. Despite the federal law, the power of our federalist system shines through. Hawaii and Arizona did not observe DST, and until 2006, Indiana's observance of DST varied by county. Time zones came with their own problems, though. Since time zones are an artificial creation by humans, the natural world still operates according to its own cycles. The total number of daylight hours in the year did not change, and winter has significantly fewer daylight hours than summer. DST was proposed as the solution to this, quote, problem, unquote. DST is another instance of trying to impose the human will onto nature and forcing there to be more sunlight in the wintertime. You see, DST makes it appear like the sun rises and sets later in the day. Considering that time is something that every human in every country has to contend with, the lack of global uniformity is indicative of DST's questionable value. Other than the U.S., Canada, Europe, and a smattering of other countries, no one else cares to change their clocks twice a year. Maybe living in accordance with nature isn't so bad after all. For example, Turkey recently switched over to permanent daylight saving time in 2016, and there seems to be little fallout. The Sunshine Protection Act is the most recent federal attempt to make daylight saving time permanent. It was passed by the Senate in March 2022, but it died in the House. While there is some controversy as to whether standard time or daylight saving time should be made permanent, it's clear from how the rest of the world operates that sunlight is not something that needs to be regulated. Thank you for listening to the Futurist Public Intellectual.